It's time to react to the Czech Republic. Who will make the cut? Who will win our hearts? MJT Reviews. Everyone, it's me Mitchell James calling and welcome back to MJT Reviews, the channel that your Jura is watching. So, um, by that I mean that I give these kind of critiques that are very much from a juror perspective. So just a heads up. I don't know if I've ever really explained that for people, but anyway, that's my explanation now. So if anyone ever asks, I'll be like, check out that brilliant but short and simple explanation there. Uh, in this video, I am doing a reaction. It's a little less like perfect, <laughs> I feel like. This is my real kind of first impression reaction to the entries and because I'm hearing it for the first time. So I am hearing the Czech Republic for the first time now. And let's have a look at the song. I still find it interesting because um, Czechia, is that the name? Czech Republic is going by Czechia internationally, but we still use Czech Republic in Eurovision. So yeah, comment below if you're a Czech person, what you think of that name. And if you think we should just be using that internationally or you're happy with just Czech Republic, keeping it very respectful, okay? But anyway, Benny Cristo is back. Yay! Oh, that's good. I'm just finding this out now. <laughs> Come on, but you know. They can say what they want, you should let it go. Uh, this song was such a grower on me last year. Real, real, real grower. And I ended up really liking it so yeah but it took a real long time for me to like it but it was a real grower he's back with a manga i'm so glad he's back and i can't wait to hear what he's going to give us now i'm a little bit not concerned but like i said it's really interesting with a lot of people coming back because of eurovision being cancelled last year is that they a real big advantage is that they've taking the time because let's face it a lot of people say they know Eurovision they write a song for Eurovision and then they find out with this community what the community like or don't like and they wouldn't have known that uh, unless they were like a super fan but a lot of them are not even though they claim to be fans and so with Benny he I, I felt like last year he was kind of in the head of everyone else does that make sense he was kind of concerned about making the perfect song and he kind of heard general complaints about like the song was not epic enough or something and so then he added like a you know no, no, really loudly which he always had in that by the way a lot of people thought that was like an extension um but if you listen to the original that's very faint in the background he just brought that forward and um everyone was like oh try it. like not everyone but i heard people say some people were like oh great that's really good and some people were saying he was trying too hard to, you know, impress people and give them what they want. And I'm like, isn't that what your vision is? Okay, but anyway. Um, but I get what both sides are saying. Um, and then I'm a little bit concerned that this year he'll bring in a song that he was too in his head about, you know, because there's an advantage of writing the song and li really being in touch. So I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe he's... I feel like he wouldn't be someone... Because he was. He, his song last year was like... I remember he was telling people like, I don't want to write a Eurovision song. And as soon as people say that, you're like, okay, you're, you don't really know that you, you can do anything in Eurovision. But um, so I'll be interested to see if he just continues that trend or if he makes more of like a competitive, you know, I'm going to stop doing that. But, you know, I, I kind of... Um, conventionally competitive kind of song sorry for the rambling but we are here I'm gonna react to just the audio and then I'm gonna react to a music video preview video so let's just listen to the audio for the first time hearing it I love the the I almost said the thumbnail gosh I love the CD cover <laughs> both from one aspect to the other there of um, you know how in touch I am but the cover of this anyway is fan bloody tastic. I love the acid kind of colors all around behind him. Let's react to it. Un, deux, trois, go. Ooh. Ooh. Like that 
kind of Daft Punk vocal uh, harmonies in the background. Yeah, this is a K-pop song. Uh uh, uh uh uh. I'm listening to that. I love it. How crazy producers is. Okay, this is totally different. It's great. It's good. It's good. I definitely agree, believe what I'm saying. He's taken the time to be like, I need to write, like I know what to write, but I think he's done the right thing. I think he's, he's actually in sync with what people want. I love anything contemporary funk. Give me contemporary funk 24 seven. -na 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 -na. It's great. Now, how can you end this? Ooh. Definitely kind of the same vibe as, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a vibe of Germany last year. Don't tell your violent thing. Okay. Oh, I like that with the production. It, 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 it. I'm a little bit that that back vocal. Like, how are you gonna do that on on the live show? I mean, there's ways to do it. It's not the first time someone's done that. This speed, I'm like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. I mean, it's, it's cool. I, I, I feel like something could have been replaced with that. But that's the oh my god thing, right? Oh my god, I get it now. I get it. Oh, don't let your heart. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well. Totally different. Got that epic vibe. Yeah, like I was saying, I don't think he really, like, really knew Eurovision last year, but it doesn't matter. But last year was a very kind of chill song. And yeah, ch I, I knew that song wouldn't have been that high in the televote only because of the chill factor. But I could I could hear the greatness. Um, this one is very much written in kind of an this is an epic moment sense. And like I always say, a really big factor of a successful Eurovision song is having a moment. Like this is a moment. And um, yeah, this is a moment. What do I always say? I used to have a baddie teacher. Sense of occasion. She used to say, you need to have a sense of occasion when you when you sing. Um, this song has a sense of occasion for sure and tick 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 I think I was worried he'd be in his head and he would write something like you know that everyone wants and it comes out a bit blah but um no he wrote something in tune and then um like by in tune I mean listening to other people I'm gonna leave a lot of that for the breakdown review sorry I get a little bit excited and I talk too much about stuff that I should leave for the review Let's look at the music video though. Let's see what the music video is like. Kind of giving us a visual teaser of what's thought of with this song. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Very intrigued. Ooh, come on, come on, Leon. <laughs> music video will say it was a little mysterious last time. I'm seeing a lot more of him. People are learning their lessons. It's really interesting. 2020 versus 2021 for the returning artists. Okay, a little funny. Got to do that for the, the young audience sometimes. Especially when he knows. I think he knows his song is going to do well with the jury. Sometimes you've got to be like, how can I get a, a jury favoured song favoured by the televote? 
And the only time Czech Republic's done well has been when it has had that kid vote, you know, with um, my, Michael Joseph. Ah, Grace, Sandy and Danny. Ah, wait, wait, that's, that's from a movie, right? They, they do like movie clips. That's cool. I forget what that's from though. Comment below. Simpsons. Okay, these are all like things. What's the, the pen thing? Someone has to tell me in the comment below what that pen thing is from. Oh, now this is all, I like this. Make this the visual concept, please. Ah, Lady in the Tramp. Hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's funny, it's comical, but it's, this is a, an example of comical yet sophisticated comical, you know? I'm all for that. No, he's got, he's got the right advisors for sure. And it doesn't look like he's trying hard, but I, you know, he's trying hard. But he's trying hard in a very good way. I love that bit. I, lo I like a lot. Would like this to elevate here. You know, we, I think we had the same problem last year with his song. I, although I didn't really care that much with the elevated and I thought they elevated, but. You know, could elevate here. Yeah, I would give this part elevation. I wouldn't say do another revamp. Oh, why am I doing this for this? Revamp. Don't do a revamp, but like re rearrange it for the live. Not rearrange it, but give us a, you know, elevated vocal in the live. Kind of surprise everyone, surprise the jury on the night. Oh, no, I, there's a lot of things I liked about that. You know, it's, is it one of the most outstanding songs? <sighs> Going off my criteria, I don't want to give anything away. Okay, so you'll just have to check out my detailed review because I gave a lot away in this one, but I will talk a lot about more stuff with Czech Republic. There's a lot to bring up there. So feel free to subscribe to see other reaction videos and breakdown review videos. And until next time, boss hack, you're up and goodbye.